Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of uh, Meta Minute, this third episode. Last week we didn't have a, an episode because uh, a lot of things happened last week. It was kind of a holiday here in Canada. We had Thanksgiving in Canada, which is problematic, but uh, uh, it was a long weekend. And also um, we had some technical issues. As you guys probably know, my computer kind of screwed, screwed itself, um, but uh, everything's back to normal and up and running so here we are today again so uh, today uh, I have Dwobble and Nathan with me and we're gonna talk about some interesting stuff that happened um, the past two weeks I think uh, probably one week but you know uh, anyways so um, let's first talk about some event stuff so let's talk about Halloween so uh, as we all expected kind of uh, at least I expected that we we're probably gonna get a Halloween event um, my, uh, speculation at first was, you know, they're gonna release it to Morphodon and stuff, but, you know, that was way off, obviously. Uh, but, uh, we did get some leaks, and, uh, there was also this official Ludia message that they sent out. They had, like, this code, and people, you know, were trying to decipher it, and then, uh, what we got was, uh, like, fear, sense, terror strikes or something, so that means we're probably gonna get, you know, Halloween sense, and... Halloween strikes, and then later in the week we got some data mined info about the Halloween dinos. So uh, let's start with those. Um, the list of Halloween dinos. Uh, Alright, if I can find them. Uh, okay, so the commons, uh, we have Allosaurus, Tiny Calagrius, and Velociraptor. Rares are Gorgosaurus, Spinosaurus, and Succotator. Epic is Tyrannosaurus Rex and Gorgosuchus. Legendary is Indominus Rex, and Unique is Indoraptor. So these are probably the ones that won the uh, scary poll, the scary dinos poll, uh, I think uh, a month back when they did that thing. So um, how do you guys feel about this list? Um, I certainly <laughs> wished we've uh, chosen more strategically, but uh, I'm not too horribly disappointed with this list. How do you guys feel about it? Honestly, I kind of like it. Um, I mean, everybody lately has been going on about how Velo has been less and less common anyway. So to start it off with some of the commons they did, I think it's a good pick. The rares, uh, I can kind of agree with that some of them weren't picked the best. Um, Might have been better to have either a cup like have Utah Raptor or something else. Um, then going with the epics, uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex, I mean, everybody's going to need Rex DNA. You have Trico and Indominus, both that need fusions for it, and then also Endoraptor on top of that. Uh, Gorgo, yeah, I can see having it as an event just because Gorgo, it looks kind of scary, honestly. Really? But uh, a little bit. Looks mm. like a little blue puppy to me nah okay. um and then having indominus as the epic or as the uh, legendary yeah okay i can see it and then endoraptor i mean it was made from indominus and velo so it just kind of fits along with the rest of the event anyway mm -hmm. how about you double so just ynn uh pretty much same order let's go with, start with the commons uh all of those are fine. Um, they're all, well, two of them are useful for hybrids and Allosaurus and Velociraptor, so those are nice to see. Tanical Agrius is, you know, just the best common by itself in the game right now, so I'm sure if people are leveling it, they're always excited to get a chance at it. Mm -hmm. Although I definitely feel like uh, Velociraptor is the big winner here. Um, rares are a pretty big disappointment. Um, yeah. I, I like, the theme of scary dinos I don't understand how Gorgo fits in I don't know if it's just the color or <laughs> what but to me it looks kind of goofy more than yeah <laughs> anything it's not, it's definitely not scary um, I would have liked to see uh, Dilo Dilophosaurus mm -hmm. you know um, jump scare from the movie it's been a fan favorite um, the frill popping out I mean that, that seems to fit the uh, theme a whole lot better in my mm -hmm. mind um, Spinosaurus is okay, and Cicatator's not bad to use. Um, 
But yeah, I would have liked to see Dialo in that pool, but mm-hmm. it, that that part's kind of underwhelming. Epics are pretty good. Rex, of course, is always going to be there. Um, everybody always needs it. No complaints there. Gorgasukas is, I mean, it's it's not bad. Um, it's good itself. It has Megalo that has its niche uses as well. So it's not bad to have, but mm-hmm. I'm going to be a bit peeved if I end up getting that from like strike events or something during <laughs> Halloween instead of the Rex. But at the same time, if they end up doing that with the weekly darting as well, then you know that's three extra attempts on Rex that I don't even have to think about. And then, of course, the Indominus and Indo, they were stars of the movies. They went around, they ate a bunch of people. That seems <laughs> cut and dry. Yeah, on the... Uh... A uh, Gorgosaurus point, like, um, I don't know why, but the G- Gorgosaurus just does not scream scary to me at all. It's like, especially in the uh, uh, profile, it just has a huge head, and the like crest, it's like yellow and it's blue. It just looks super goofy <laughs> more than um scary to me. So yeah, for the rares, I definitely sh- wanted Glossaurus in there, probably. I don't know if this is a bit too much, but Irritator, <laughs> if oh, that's, yeah, I, I, that's probably just me, you know, super selfish, but some, like, other scary dinos, um, Megalosaurus looks really, um, it looks extra creepy in Jurassic World Live, the model, um, how they have those, like, stripes and stuff, and, like, um, its jaw looks pretty creepy, uh, some other rares, like, there, there are, like, quite a decent pool of uh scary rares like carno 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 is a decent one too um although it, it it wasn't that scary in the movie it got it came out and it got wrecked <laughs> and yeah i was mm-hmm. i was gonna add to it i was gonna say carno does i mean mm-hmm. it does have its quirks as far as being scary looking but yeah. it does kind of just get slaughtered <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> Speaking along with the movie aspect also, you think Baryonyx would have made it into the epic pool? Mm-hmm. One, it's another dino that people want for hybrids yeah. in the game. And two, um, it was kind of scary when it came running down the pipe in Fallen Kingdom. Yeah, 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 for sure. Another one's probably um, Spino and Gen 2, but they had Spino in Rare, so probably not. Maybe Model Alpha Source. You guys think Mono's scary enough, or is it, you know... Or is it just me? No, I don't. I don't think Mono's scary. I don't think okay, I do. intimidating. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I will agree with the Dilophosaurus, though. It should have been in the rares. I mean, it really mm-hmm. should have. What about uh, Gripasuchus? I don't. I, 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 I don't know if it's just me or like it's, it's like snout or something. Looks just. <laughs> it's like it's about to like jump out at me. I mean, I guess yeah, kind of, but then it would just be an easy. Or if people did get it out of incubators, mm-hmm. or if it came to darting it, they'd be like, well, this sucks. Yeah, obvious disappointment. But how about Raja? Raja. Raja's okay. Um, mm-hmm. I could see it being there. I think something like uh, Pyroraptor is more intimidating when I'm looking through my rares. But... Epics, yeah. Um, Spinderaptor, or maybe. Ehrlich really gives me that, you know scissors hands feel <laughs> so that probably could have been in there too yeah that could have been i could see that Mhm. for the legendaries i am super super surprised that we didn't have triostronics in there like oh yeah it, mm-hmm. it looks like a zombie it's creepy looking it looks like it's been in a fight and it's been bleeding mm-hmm. like it, it's definitely a creepy looking hybrid and then like I said, if they would have put Baryonyx in there, it just kind of feeds into it even more and makes everything make sense. But they skipped out on both of them. Oh, that's... I wouldn't say it's disappointing, but it's it's at least surprising. Like, there's 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 quite a few uh, legendaries they could have toyed with, but then again, um, I think Indominus Rex for them is probably the safest choice. We don't like want them like throwing out dinos at... A majority of the player base probably doesn't want to use and indominus rex everyone always needs uh uh indom dna i guess <laughs> but uh, uh other than that um you guys have any other legendaries you probably wanted to see in here other than indom a sino make a return i don't know if it's <laughs> just me but last time it was available to dart i mm-hmm. ended it with a random 
two at the end of it, and it really drives mm-hmm. me crazy seeing that there. Yeah. So, <laughs> if it ever comes out, are, are you gonna like just strive for a like a uh, eight you ending? The Sino itself is. Mm-hmm. You realize it's a raptor, and yeah, that that changes real quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, uniques, uh, Indoraptors. I, I I get it. That's you know that's a given. It's it, it was a movie dinosaur. It was kind of scary. Like, honestly, Indo looks a bit more scarier than uh, Indominus to me. But uh, I do kind of like Indom's design a bit more. Uh, Indo always looks like a uh, looks like a overgrown rat to me i don't know why but <laughs> yeah but the first time that you do see it in the movie i mm-hmm. mean all you see is its big giant claws yeah that was a jump scare for sure i feel um, like it was a little more uh creepy looking in the movie or maybe it was just the scenes as a whole in game i yeah. definitely agree that it looks kind of like a rat though <laughs> yeah and also you know it, it was all at night it was in the mansion and stuff yeah, I was gonna say, you know, the most of the times you see it in the movie, it's dark. It's in a scary setting. I mean, it's not like it's just out in broad daylight. Mm-hmm, for sure. I mean, uh, the, looking at the other new uniques, Dio Raja, That's that's like that's Godzilla. <laughs> that that probably could have made it. Uh, Erlodon. Like the, these two, I personally don't want to get any DNA for it. Like I I'd be okay if you're giving me it, but um, but just for the looks, like. Erlodon looks extremely creepy. <laughs> it's probably one of the most creepiest dinos um, that they've made in the game. So uh, that probably could have been in there too as well. Mm, but other than that, the uniques, they are to look a bit goofy. Or, you know, they're Yoraja and Erlodon. <laughs> so how about the uniques? I agree. Erlodon kind of fits in there. Uh... Like mm-hmm. I said, it feels. I feel like they just kind of played it safe with the uh, Indom and Indo both. Mm-hmm. And I really wish either they would have doubled down on the scary or doubled down on the movie dinos. But, you know, either way, I feel like I would have been more impressed with the lineup. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I don't think that giving a choice between legendaries and uniques is really going to happen since we don't have a chance to dart them but once in a blue moon. Yeah. So, uh, anyways, uh, uh, another thing that leaked uh, this week were were a lot of the weekly dinos, and I and and I was thinking, look at looking at this list, and a lot of people have been asking, you know, if this list of Halloween dinos is that going to be the weekly dinos for that week? Uh, do you guys think that's going to be the case at all? I don't think so. Mm-hmm. I think it's just it's just going to be whichever one they decide each week. I mean, I mean here we've had it doesn't go by that specific order from what we saw so far, and I don't think that's going to change either. All right. I feel like they could make it that week. Um, give us two days for commons and rares, and then one day for each of the other three. Mm-hmm. But it it would definitely break the pattern. But it's Halloween. It's their first real event that they're kind of celebrating you know holiday wise so if they want to go big i would imagine and mm-hmm. keep the players happy yeah and bring back indoor after a lot of people have been complaining ever since the release of fallen kingdom uh, a lot of people didn't have a chance to dart indoor after and when we uh and those who did dart indoor after either got that really annoying bug like where the you know darting screen was flashing all over the place you know it was it was a horrible experience to a lot of people. Yeah, whenever, whenever it would run up the screen, it would just completely glitch out the whole yeah. time. Yeah, and a lot of people didn't get too much DNA on that, or you know they were a bit lower level at the time, or they didn't buy VIP that day or whatever. Um, another chance at an Raptor. A lot of people have been wanting that, so that could be great if they bring that back. Um, I don't know, um, it might be a bit too repetitive if, like, uh, that week's incubator are these dinos, the weekly dinos are these dinos, the, uh, you know, um, the strike event dinos are these dinos, the sensor are these dinos, and I get that, you know, it's all for Halloween, but this isn't, like, too large of a spread of dinos, this is, what, 1, 6, 8, 9, 10, that's just 10 dinos, and, you know, we're probably not gonna get, get a lot of 
Indominus or EndoDNA, and if we're just getting, you know, Gorgosaurus and um, Spinosaurus DNA over and over again, that might be a bit uh, disappointing. First of all, don't make fun of my 31 DNA on Endoraptor the first time. All that right. was rude. All right, sorry. <laughs> uh, also, uh, the spread, it's 10 dinos. I mean, mm -hmm. the normal the normal events have 9. Yeah, 9 or yeah. 10 normally. So it's not, you know, much of a difference there either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I was thinking, you know, it's a Halloween event. It's going to be big. Um, I was expecting something a bit bigger than this, to be honest. You know, all we're going to get is, uh, like, just from speculation, obviously, um, we're just going to get some Halloween strike events, uh, an incubator, probably a, you know, a sale in shop, and then, at most, these dinos at we as weekly dinos. It doesn't seem, it really doesn't seem too much to me. <laughs> like, um, uh, it might seem big in comparison to, you know, our other normal, regular weeks, but... When you look at uh, some other mobile games, what they do for Halloween, they usually go pretty big on Halloween. Um, you know, uh, uh, other than you know some game that gives you a Pikachu with a hat. <laughs> but, uh, well, I'm kind of glad we just didn't get a Rex with a hat. Well, speaking of cosmetics like that, I feel like it would be a good addition. You know, maybe a little bit more than a witch hat on your Velociraptors or something. Mm -hmm some sort of cosmetic change um i'm not sure how they would go about doing it maybe you know you get it from a strike or something and then you have an option to toggle it on or off in your collection afterward mm -hmm. would be kind of interesting um but i feel like this is also going to fall right before their what's so far been the two-month patch cycle so maybe they have more planned and they just haven't put it in yet uh, i think i'm going to give them a little bit of the benefit of the doubt for now. Yeah, well, when when was the last update? Was it August twenty fifth or September? Some, no, no, it's probably August then. So if this is going to be at the end of the month, we might get another. You guys think it's possible we're going to get an update right before the Halloween? I think it's possible if unless I have my months wrong. I'm checking the date on their announcement for it now to double be sure. Yeah, I guess that kind of makes sense. Yeah, um, I mean, it'd be a good time to add in more. It'd be a good time to shake up spawns, too. If mm -hmm. They're going to have a Halloween event and everything to go with it. Yeah. Um, then that's going to be <laughs> that's gonna be pretty big, as we're going to talk about a bit later in the uh, uh, podcast that we're having some, like new um, game features and stuff added to the game. And uh, anyways, um, how about uh, let's leave that topic for now. Let's go to some other uh, stuff that were data mined in this uh, leak. Uh, when was this? On October the 13th. So weekly dinos. Um, we're, uh, we got a list of the weekly dinos that are yet to come uh, that could potentially come back. And these are all old ones. Um, there aren't any uh, new ones that were leaked. And it looks like from what they're doing at the moment, they're probably just recycling old events, maybe, until Halloween. Who knows if they are, in fact, going to go with that lineup for Halloween. But um, looking at these events, so we got the armor event with commons, Anki Gen 2, Eupocephalus, Rare, Notosaurus, and Kylocodon. Epic, we got that great 15 attempts on, you know, either Stegoceratops, Notopatosaurus, Sinoceratops, and Kylosaurus, and Amargocephalus. So that's the armor event, then... Uh, cunning, which we're having this week. Um, you could just check in game for that. Uh, debuff event, which is common Diplo, uh, Stegosaurus, Mono Gen 2, Rare, we got Diplo Callus Gen 2, Kulisux cool Gen 2, Procerata, Saurus, uh, Tojanga Source, and Warosaurus. And then we got the uh, six attempts on Kentro and Kulisux cool for Epic. And then finally, we have a fierce event commons Allosaurus, Tarbosaurus, Dimensionon Gen 2, Nindasuchus, Ophiacodon. Rares, we got Gorgosaurus, Tyrannosaurus, uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex Gen 2, that's weird, uh, <laughs> Irritator, and then we got the Epic Rex and Cicodontosaurus. So the three events that are coming up, these are all really, really good events. Um, I'm looking forward to all of them, actually. Uh, I don't know uh, which ones you guys think are the best among these, which ones you guys need um, at the moment. Well, before I dissect them, I 
just realized, like, looking at them, mm -hmm. I really wish they would add another epic to Cunning, Debuff, and Furious. Yeah. Just to kind of balance it out. Mm -hmm. Looking at armor, you have five options, and yeah. everything else, you only have two, which for three of those, you know, really only mm -hmm. one, if you're being realistic. But uh, um, yeah. the armor event is a good one. Um, trying to decide between Sinocera and, and Kylosaurus is really hard right now i have no idea mm -hmm. which one of those i would actually choose me neither um all the other ones just have great things and not a whole lot of decision making debuffs you know you're obviously going to go for Django and kintro mm -hmm. for your rares and epics um commons truth be told you're probably going to skip but you know stego <laughs> never really hurts um mm -hmm. If anybody wants to take my advice and level up a Diplicator, Diplicalis actually is not <laughs> a bad one to dart, but uh, not holding my breath for that one since nobody listens. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then for Furious, you know, Irritator, anytime they throw Irritator in an event, I'm happy. I want to level that Magnus as quick as possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd have to agree. I mean, especially with the armor event, getting Sinoceratops and um, a couple of the others even like... Um, Heaven, Noto Peto, and some others that you can get some of the hybrids for, even. Um, and then with the Fierce event, you know, Rex, Irritator, there's pretty much nothing else there. You know, everything else you can kind of get either from incubators all the time or just out in the, you know, looking in the wild on the normal day. But then for the debuff, I mean, Kentro, you know, it's pretty rare spawn, especially lately. And then having it be available in an event to at least get, you know, six temps at it. And it has the Anki Intro, which is needed for Trico. So you get the one hybrid, and then you can use Rex for Trico after that. So I think as far as the events go, the commons, it's kind of just whatever you're going for, depending on, you know, if you just want to level up dinosaurs or if you have a fusion you're working toward. Um, but as far as the rares and the epics go, especially from the armor event and the fierce event, you know, you really should just focus on one of them and not get a spread of dinosaurs out. Mm hmm. Looking at these events, um, the ar armor event, I probably argue, was the best week ever and it probably will still be um a lot of people like the uh, indoraptor week which was really good too it, it you know it had baryonyx sigma moloch indoraptor obviously um but i really think armor events is probably the best event um for all the uh, weekly dinos uh i personally haven't decided uh, between ankylosaurus and sinoceratops though but should be dull and probably gonna go ankylosaurus just because personally i live a bit far from uh, local four and i do go to a uh, school in uh, local one so i could sometimes find it sound and tops and also in kyle source you, you have to be um uh it has to be at a uh, daytime to uh, get one of those and uh you know we're we're getting closer to winter and days are getting shorter so that's probably another reason i'm leaning towards more ankylo than sino but i'm probably gonna do both um so yeah that's the armor event i really think it's the best one um uh, the debuff event last time i got my tajangasaurus from level 11 all the way to level 12 oh, or uh, not level 12 level 20 just from that one event it's just a monstrous amount of tajango dna and that one's like really really great as well kencho is always you know if you're uh if you're working on trichosaurus you know how important kencho is so probably don't need to say too much about that and a uh, Rex for Fierce Event. I personally need Rex. I know a lot of people probably don't, but um, it's always nice to have more Rex DNA. Um, the only problem with the Fierce Event I have is the commons. We have, there's five commons, and none of them are that much useful, to be honest. And that's kind of disappointing to me. But um, the Rares Irritator, obviously that's, you know, probably one of the best rares you can have in an event. So uh, all of these are really great. And I was just wondering uh, if you guys um, would like to see any more new events, or do you think recycling these events are good? Since these these are really great events that they're recycling, but would you rather see new events, or you know just take what you have here? Uh, 
honestly, at times there's a, I would like to see a new one just to kind of shake things up. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, recycling, especially like the armor event, um, is nice, but at times just need something different. Yeah, I would love to see some new events come this way. Um, I feel like since they've started shuffling spawns around way back when, you know, I had stashes of like Arano and stuff, and it's become a lot harder to find compared to when it was a global spawn. So something with that and like Hadrosaurs would be nice to see more of in events. Mm -hmm. um, Parasaurs are good. Arano's good. Um, the rare ones are kind of eh, but the, you know, there's always a chance that they could get a future <laughs> hybrid. Yeah. So. And um, uh, oh, uh, when you talked about the um, uh, when you brought up the Hadrosaurs, it reminded me of the most obvious event that would make the most sense, <laughs> which is the Draco Rex and Stiggy Molog event, <laughs> which we still haven't uh, gotten ever since they first came out. Um, yeah. Um, I personally would really want to see an event with Draco and Stiggy, and I don't know what for commons, probably just their Gen 2s, maybe throw in a Parasaur, I don't know. <laughs> that They could probably throw Hadrosaurs and yeah. all the uh, Dracos and Stiggies and mm -hmm. all that fun stuff together and yeah. call it a day. Yeah, like uh, some like stunning dinos, I don't know, just, they took out the uh, Ceratopsians. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the Hardhead event have... Draco Gen 2 and all them is the commons and then add in something that people need then have Dracorix and um, Stiggy and all of them in there too so you can get the full run yeah uh, one dino that we haven't seen in events that no one is um, excited to see yet is the Quiposuchus it's still not in events and no one really cares <laughs> so uh, <laughs> don't be knocking those crocs hey <laughs> Uh, we see enough of that in parks, at least in the last update. <laughs> Poor thing, no one likes it. I mean, it does look kind of cool, but you know. Anyways, uh, let's move on to the uh, other stuff that was leaked. Uh, uh, guilds. So this is kind of big, I'd say. Uh, we don't have a lot of information on it. Probably not too much at all. Uh, we only have like three pieces of info here at the moment. So there's gonna be kills. There's gonna be guild chats and 5,000 coins to create a guild, and there's something called Guild Celebration, which no one knows anything about, and we're probably not going to speculate on it at all, because we don't even know where to start. So, uh, anyways, um, uh, let's start uh, talking about guilds. What could they do? Like, what's their purpose? Is it going to be... Uh, guild, guild challenges to start. I'm sure mm -hmm. there will be something that... You know, so many people in the guild have to complete each week, you know, whether it's just from collecting this much DNA of, you know, like an epic dinosaur, for instance, mm -hmm. or need to win this many battles each week, stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like they could tie it in almost similar to the achievements, just on like a weekly basis more so. Uh, you know, each member or the guild has to total X amount of rare or epic common dna or win so many arena battles um maybe mm -hmm. even like some sort of team strike events where the whole guild gets to participate and you're fighting like some absurd stat lines on an endo or something you know um i'm not sure how that would balance out very well since you know there's going to be a couple guilds that with that are uh just full of strong players and uh -huh. other ones that are probably struggling a bit, but mm -hmm. yeah. Do you guys feel like there's going to be any PVP aspect to kills at all, or is it just going to be purely PVE stuff? Because what I was concerned about is if they do throw in PVP stuff, like we have a leaderboard right here. We could just have like all the strongest people in one guild and then just leave everyone else hanging. I mean, I guess they could kind of set up, actual tournaments with it not like the way it's currently set up but you know brackets where you know guilds x number of people from each side play each other and whichever side gets more wins moves on to the next one um not really expecting a whole lot of pvp out of it though other than like i said with the achievements with collect so much dna or whatever 
maybe mm-hmm. have a leaderboard for that each week or each month or something and even then it's more of a pve thing where you're just competing against the other guilds rather than actually yeah. battling them or anything of that sort yeah so guys uh have any speculation on you know possibly how many members is going to be in one because you know, there's, there's always, always that problem if you have too, too many people, people then obviously guilds are going to get huge and if you have them too small then there's going to be problems there too uh, i think for sure there will be a limit but as far as for what the limit will be i mean i've played games that there's 30 people there's 30 account limits and then there's games that i've played that are 200 limit mm-hmm. um i mean most of it i think is going to depend on what they actually allow guilds to do like you know if it's going to be x amount of arena battles need to be won in a week you know they can't set it too high for guilds that have less members and they can't set it too low for guilds that have a huge amount of members so i think maybe like a 40 maybe 50 limit if that Mm-hmm. I think way lower than that like half really? 20 to 25 I think 50 is going to be the absolute upper limit for it otherwise I mean I mean, look look how visible the top 500 are for instance yeah. um, I don't think they want to cram the top 500 into say 10 guilds and that be the end of it because <laughs> rip anybody else who's not top 500 at that point mm-hmm. Uh, as you guys are talking about it, like, an idea came to my mind. It, they could probably, like, have the guilds and have, you know, uh, the guild starts at, like, you know, like, level one, and then, like, the more accomplishments, like, achievements you, uh, complete, you get more, like, guild points, and then you level up your guild, and then that increases your max guild capacity, maybe, and then there's a limit there. That's probably, eh, a way, I guess. That time. wouldn't be too bad. Uh-huh. I mean, because it would encourage people to actually do something in the guild if, you know, mm-hmm. they're like, oh, well, I want to, you know, we want to level with the guild or get this benefit from the guild. We got to get to this level, so we need people that are actually going to do something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, uh, uh, anyways, that's, that's, um, that's all about the uh, leaks we had last week. So, anyways, um, before we finish, let's talk about the, what's, going on in the game right now which is the tournament uh, the tournament's about to end in a week um i think less than a week six days if i'm not mistaken uh and next monday yeah, morning yeah next monday morning so it's about you know six and a half days or whatever but uh how do you guys feel the season two is compared to season one uh, i don't feel like a whole lot's changed honestly um i don't feel like people have cared for the majority of the tournament which is kind of a nuisance i guess i mean um, i i have mixed feelings about like sitting in lockwood at 5k because on one hand i get more dna but on the other hand i don't really need a link dna i'd rather get the stiggy yeah, same but with everybody kind of taking it easy it's real hard to climb and inflate that trophy amount yeah um but i have a feeling this next this weekend really saturday night to through sunday and up until you know the deadline on monday morning that's when people are going to go nuts and they're going to be battling their hearts out to try to climb Mm -hmm. honestly at the lower range i mean in the first uh tournament it was hard getting even just a four thousand like Mm mm-hmm most people would sit there just at 4,000 that should have been probably about 4,500, 5,000, and they waited until right at the end of the tournament. I think the way that they did it this time with the different reset level, you know, you were either from 4,000 up to 5,000, it kind of freed it up where people that were right at the lower limit of around the 4,250 could actually battle and maybe get up into the 4,250 or... You know, it wasn't like everyone was just crammed at one trophy limit where you might have level 15 dinos facing someone that has level 28 dinos. Yeah, uh, if you haven't mentioned it, I almost forgot about the trophy reset thing. Um, Because last time it was super noticeable. Like, I was 
back at like was it 3.5k and just fighting teams with like dino seven or eight levels lower than mine and then like this time after it reset it was just like oh i was just keep on norm battling my normal battles with uh people around my range so yeah but um also one more thing when we look at the leaderboard we have our friend uh Legoman still up there at level two or not level two uh, rank number two good for him but geez that's 23k trophies <laughs> i i know double said something about you know the trophies not being inflated too much probably at the uh you know the general player level but these people at the top they're they're fighting a lot <laughs> i feel like at the top it's different this time because last time there was a bug when they hit six thousand that um they, they couldn't get matched with anybody unless somebody else with that amount was also queued up at mm -hmm. the same time because um, the game would apparently just freeze on them if they were to get matched with bots yep. this time i feel like they've just been able to keep farming through bots non-stop yeah. that's why they've inflated so much but for you know the average person who's sitting you know lower 5ks well that's probably not average but, but for like where I'm at, like, you know, sitting in the 5K range, give or take, um, it, I was like 5.4, I think it was, before the reset, give or take. And I'm, you know, it, it's hard to even stick at 5,000 now because I don't feel like a lot of people have cl tried to climb. They're either kind of settling. I don't know if it's, you know, just because the, there's going to be the mad rush at the end or they just don't care about the rewards this time as much. Um, Bracky's a whole lot less exciting in my eyes than Blue was. Mm -hmm. But it, it, mo I, I don't feel like the lower end of the top 500 really has inflated like it did previously. Yeah, for sure. I've been, I've been you know, sitting around this trophy range. It like um After the reset, it took me quite a bit to get back to a lock, Lockwood and like, Last time it was quite easy to get over five thousand, and you know I I have better dinos this time. Everyone else has better dinos this time, and uh, it's it is moving really slow. Maybe people are just you know getting sick of battling. I don't I don't know. I personally I'm I'm not a huge fan of uh, battling. I just battle through incubators. Like sometimes not even like last night I didn't even uh, uh do uh, my <laughs> incubators. So yeah. Uh, I don't know, this tournament really feels uh, kind of slow. Um, spoofers. Spoofers have uh, decreased a bit um, this time. Uh, not a lot of uh, uh, spoofers are in the tournament like last time, which is nice. That's always good to see. But yeah, with the tournament ending in a week, I really don't see <laughs> this getting too much more competitive unlike last time course you know saturday, saturday and sunday uh it's probably you know people are gonna go for that uh last push but uh i i probably don't see this going like, too far like i'm at like 5.2k i don't think we're gonna have the trophies inflated to you know at least people around my level to 6k anytime soon which is the next arena so I don't know. Um, I personally enjoyed this one a bit more. It wasn't as intense as the last one. Although the last one, I wasn't in it for uh, the most part. I was down in Badlands. But yeah, this one's kind of, you know, more chill than the last one. At least from what I've heard. Yeah, this one, I mean, I actually had to battle to get up back into the even the rewards range, which was nice for once. I mean, last time it wasn't that difficult considering after the reset, you're at 3,500 and all you had to do was just wait until the big guys got out of the way. Mm -hmm. And it was pretty easy to get up in, even to the 4,000s, no problem. Yeah. Um, this time it did take a little bit more. I mean, I even picked up Indoraptor and I still had a little bit of trouble getting even up to the 4,250. Um, but it's just, even the couple times that I battled since then, it does seem like it's stalled a little bit. Um, and I think most of it just has to do with people are just getting into the rewards range and then just waiting their incubators out and then battling just to refill incubators like they would on a normal day anyway. 
Yeah, it does seem like that to me. At least that's what I'm doing. Um, how about next season? Um, they're probably going to throw out some new arenas too, seeing how much you know the top players are deviating away from 6,000. They're oh, over 10K trophies. They're probably going to add some more arenas by then. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, we're getting, what, one tournament every per update, maybe? Like, this is going to end, what, next week? And we're, uh, we're probably not going to get one until maybe November? That, that would be my guess. Um, probably late November. Mm-hmm, so... So uh, I guess that's their schedule, like each... Probably late November, I'd say we get the next one. Um... Yeah, around that time, so we're going to get a different meta each season of the tournament. It seems like we're probably going to get new arenas too, and yeah, who knows. Um, The arena rewards, probably, you know, they're not that amazing. They're probably not going to get any more amazing, um, because people are going to complain, and it's probably not fair. It's just they're, you know, it's the same thing, rich get richer. They're going to get, like, important hybrid DNA and stuff, but I don't know. Uh, anyways, um, uh, do you guys have any other things you guys want to say before we uh, finish this off? My thing with the tournament, like I kind of touched on with the Halloween stuff, is I would love to see cosmetic rewards. Mm -hmm. You know, reward the players that are doing it without giving them, you know, bigger advantages. Because like the rewards look great for the people finishing at the top, mm -hmm. but you know it, the the coins and cash really don't mean a whole lot to them. Um, they're already maxing out their dinos and stuff, and eventually the other players are going to start catching up to them, even with the less rewards. So, I'd like to see something where, you know, just cosmetic things that don't give us any edge but people are going to want they're going to battle for them and mm -hmm. maybe that way they could even reward players at way lower trophies just kind of hey i was playing during this time and just yeah. differentiate the cosmetics a little bit you know a progressive award thing would be nice to be added i mean you know the people that you know they started at x trophy amount and they got up to this so oh, yes. you know, they could get a reward for this like even if it's just you know just like 10,000 coins or an epic incubator mm -hmm. you know something to show hey you know you did you know let's say you gained 200 trophies you get this reward for it yeah it's like a uh, special missions like for example uh you know win 10 rounds and you get you know whatever uh win 3 rounds in a row or you know gain 50 trophies or uh yeah stuff like that um that's yeah that's quite interesting and uh, just to touch on the cosmetics um and going back to the halloween thing i was kind of disappointed that we, we didn't get like um fossil skins or skeleton skins for halloween i was kind of hoping um it's probably you know it's it it, it was kind of out there but <laughs> i was hoping we could get like you know rex skeleton skins triceratops skeleton skins uh Stegosaurus, Tyrandon, some of those, but, you know, who knows, um, we still obviously don't have the, uh, Halloween full details yet, but when we do get them, and if it is gonna be in a, um, uh, it's gonna, uh, accompany a new update, we can probably throw those in, and that's gonna be, uh, quite exciting, I'd say. I feel like it's something that would be great for him to add, because I know some games there's the issue of, like, uh, visibility like you still have to be able to recognize what's what when you see it mm -hmm. but like when you're battling and stuff everything comes in it has the intro animation and it shows the name at the bottom yeah. and even if you somehow miss that say you look away from your phone you can still tap on it in the middle of battle and it shows you everything you need to know there so they could definitely give us some cosmetics without like confusing people i feel like too terribly much mm -hmm. yeah that's uh that's a great point for uh adding cosmetics Post just wants to dress up as T-Rex as the Monopoly man. <laughs> what? Where did that even come from? <laughs> oh, okay. T-Rex also needs a top hat and a monocle. Ooh. I, I don't know. Uh, Megalosuka seems like a really uh, good candidate for a monocle. Or um, uh, what uh, what uh, Peritator needs is a, is a black belt. We all know that. 
and a red headband. Yep. Kung Fu Parrot. Kung Fu Parrot. You need a you need a Velociraptor that's uh, got some glasses or something. Oh, just turn uh, Ankencho into a potato with spikes on it. <laughs> just do it. Just do it. Come on, Ludia. Free ideas were given to you. <laughs> Hire us. <laughs> Anyways, um, uh, that's uh, that's probably the time for today. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in, and also thank uh, Double and Nathan for joining us on this episode of Meta Minute. Um, this is probably gonna come out on a weekday, uh, maybe Wednesday. Why not? And um, <laughs> you guys will obviously know when that comes out. And uh, thank you guys for listening, and we'll see you guys next week. <laughs>